Hello, YouTubers. Uh, this is uh, Adam Sam Radio. We got a little treat for you. So we got an unboxing, a radio. That's a Yesu FT450 Delta. So we're gonna have to put the camera down over here. I'll we'll go get the box. Big, so I'm gonna have to set it on my lap. I hope they got no peanuts in here. Let's see. Uh, HRO, I tell you, HRO ham radio outlet always comes through. These guys, I love them. <laughs> These guys are always prompt on their sales. Okay, and there's popcorn in there. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna have to get a little baggie or something here. There we go. Got some little bag. Gotta empty some of these little. Oops, I don't want this scrape on my floor. Garbage. What? Popcorn. These are the worst things just to pack with. I hate it. But, as you know, I guess they use it to protect the top of it, but they don't spread it around the box. Oh, I'm starting to see a light through the tunnel here. Man, it's even popping up off the thing. <laughs> oh, shoot. I hope this bag has got big enough capacity. It's almost full already. Start to see a box. Oh boy. I hate these things. I, I wish they just used bubble wrap. Not bubble wrap. Yeah, bubble wrap and those air pocket things are pretty good. But this 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 stuff here is just nasty to get out. And I am not taking this radio out of the box yet until all this is cleared out. I really hate this, these things. As you can see, they're just messy. But anyways, uh, like I said before, I was going to treat you to a, a radio opening. Open box. Oh, they got some on the sides. Come on. Well, at least I get the top part and I'll be good to go. And hopefully they left me a catalog. You should even slip and never send me no catalogs. I do a lot of business with them and they don't give me a catalog. I requested one. Maybe it's on the bottom of all this dang popcorn. Sorry, this is a little boring, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. You, know what I mean? you, you don't want this all over the place. It's a pain in the, pain in the arcus to get rid of all this. Got up. Bird's going nuts, though. Dang bird. Okay, I think we're, uh, let's put that to the side. I think I'm about ready to pull this out of the box. Alright, put that down over here. What's this? Okay, my invoice. Okay, that's quite enough. I don't want to hear no more of it. This is the invoice. Keep that over here. Oh, there's, there's the unveiling. Oh, my God. Oh. This popcorn. I can't stand this. Okay, there we go. Oh. Brand new in the box. Oh, oh man. I want to save this box. Of course, you got to have that dang popcorn. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. It's a real pain in the arse. Really pain in the arse. All right, put that down quick. There we go. Put this bag right in it. Okay. Take care of that business. Put that down over here. That can get us a room. Oh, like I said, HRO, I don't know. Everybody has their own preferences. These guys had the better deal than through Gigaparts. 
uh, H R R N L. Um, I forgot a couple other. This was the cheapest, even on uh, e eBay or the uh, uh, Amazon. This was the cheapest. They gave me a rebate and everything. Okay, this is the uh, box. Brand new. I had one before and it blew up. Now it's all brand new. Of course, it's backwards. Well, here we go with this nonsense. All right, let me uh, bring the camera around. Okay, I don't want to look at myself. Now I got to turn the camera around. Let's see. Okay, there's the 450. Am I looking at it right? Okay, the 450. Okay, we're gonna open it up. Let's see what we have. It's got the built-in antenna tuner. And uh, I used to, okay. <laughs> they even give you instructions how to open the box and all that. See, the radio's there. Foam, 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 foam. Power cord. And then you just pull this over like that. Okay, now we're opening it right here. Oh, cool, they gave me a sticker. That's cool. Well, here's the uh, owner's manual. What the hell is that? Oh, they gave me a spare fuse, too. That's a good thing. They gave me the, the power cord. You've got to have that. Stock microphone, which we're not going to use. I'm going to use my uh, MD100. I've got the brackets or something in there. He's, you know, he's easy for people to get by with. All right, here comes the... Uh, oh, my God. Hang on a minute. Where's the unveil? I don't know if I can do this with, with one hand. Let me put you down for a second here. So maybe you can see me pull out of the box when I'm, like, right about... Right about there. Let's see. Okay. There she goes. Slide the foams off. Put them back in the old box of Rooney. There we go. Oh, man, there we got that. There, keep that in future reference. Because, uh, okay. I gotta turn the camera around. Turn things backwards. Close that tight. Why is this thing not closing? It's always something, man. Always something. I want to save this box in case something happens. I can get it reserved service. It's under warranty. Alright. Close that. Put that in there. There's the box. That over here. All right, now, um, buh, 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 buh. okay, I gotta turn the camera around. Okay, this is the uh, radio and it's plastic. I'm going to, I want to save uh, plastics. I like to store. Some, oh, don't tell me they just sealed it. Oh no, it's. Tapes. Oh, good old Japan. There we go. How much tape did they put on this bugger? I don't think I'm gonna end up saving this bag, I don't think. Yeah, I think I can. Alrighty. Yeah, I ordered this Friday night and it's already what, Monday? And that's the other thing about HRO. Alright, here's the radio. Nice and brand new, spanking new. It's even got the plastic right on the face. And, uh, oh yeah, that's smooth. This this radio, the other radio I had before this one, the other radio was tampered with. You know how you could tell from a radio, if you ever buy a used radio, always look at the screws that's mounted to the radio. 
and this thing has never been opened since the close from the factory and um, let's see the serial number everything matches right and you got your ports you got your power you got your power here your data plug your tuner if you buy an external tuner it's already got a built-in tuner already in it but I think it goes to like 1.1 1 .1 to 5 or 2 I'm not sure but if it goes a little over that I won't tune but uh, here's your data cable your cat cable which eventually I'm going to do here's your ground lug your external speaker and your cooling fan which is nice a big large cooling fan and I can't wait to put it around the air let's see Okay, you got your uh, your uh, your headphones, your gear, your mic jack, your, your other controls. Look at that; it's not even sloppy. The other one I had it was not like this. It's, it's all nice and brand new. And I know you guys want to see this part, but everybody cringes when people do this. I'm gonna take the plastic right off the face. It's like peeling off the sunburned skin. There it is. Put that over there. This is what it looks like from the top. And here's the bottom. There's the bottom. Right there. And uh, it has a bunch of stuff. Oh, made in Japan. And da, da, da. I'd rather have things from Japan than I do in China. No offense to any China guys are out there. I just... Uh, no, like I was saying is these cave these screws, see how nice they're not sharp rounded off? These are not brand new, never opened, which is gonna keep it that way. I don't have to convert it or nothing because it already has sixty meters. All these screws are nice and flat. When you buy a new rig, make sure you put your finger right on the screws. If they're flat, it's you know, you don't see no other scratches. If there's replaced ones, you'll doubt you'll know right off the bat. I've seen it happen. And it's got little feet here. Just flip those up over like that. Put it down like this. Oh, I'm so psyched they got another one. I, I I had to sell my other one. It was just I don't know what happened. All right, we'll turn this thing around. Oh, not at me. But uh, here we here she is. The Yesu FT450 Delta. And the VFO knob is like butter, man. And there's your tune button, your dim, your function button, your mode. It's pretty straightforward radio. It's, it's a sought after radio, I tell you. There's your on off switch, your DSP. Um, I'm really happy that these knobs are not sloppy. I mean, real bad. I mean, you know, that's nice and tight. And the VFO is just nice, nice uh, feeling to it. And then, uh, let's see. It's uh, it's pretty good, you know. It's pretty close to the Alinko size, but I think it's a little smaller. And there's a side view of it. Like I said, you know, when you ever buy, I'll never buy another used radio as long as I live, as long as I live, unless I buy it from a friend of mine or something. That's that's one thing. They they know what they're they they did or whatever. I know. Uh, these, like I said, these screws are nice and flat. They're not sharp. This has never been opened. It's been put together from the factory, and it's got to stay like that. Everybody's like, "Oh, convert it, convert." No, no, no. I bought this to be on the handbands, not CB. No offense to CBers out there, but uh, I uh, plan to keep it stock, and that's that. And the microphone, I'm going to use this one right up there, the MD100. This one right here, this bugger, MD100. It's a good uh, microphone. Oh, okay. Well, th this was the box. What it looked like. Uh, these popcorns are still all over the joint. That's what it looks like. It's got six meter H and HF, 450 uh, Delta with built-in antenna tuner and uh, it's by Yesu like I said here you got the cord the microphone and of course 
your owner's manual with a warranty card which you're going to fill out and I got a sticker and I don't think I'm going to use it. I'm going to just hang it up. But anyways, that's uh, that's the, that's the stuff right there. So uh, yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And oh, man, I'm really fussy. <laughs> I just got this thing. I get like a little piece of dust on it. I go eight bass. But uh, anyways, uh, next video will be uh, when I mount it where I want it to. You know, put the radio so I can have access to it. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I've never been so happy. I got another one because the other one I had uh, it was it was used and it was a piece of. Sh piece of junk and I got the like I said I got the Alinko running pretty well and she's on right now I've been talking on it today and uh, yeah, I was talking to uh, some of my friends that are on Milwaukee and uh, Ohio and all that sorts of stuff excuse me hey the freaking bird's gonna give me a heart attack but anyways, guys, um, it's a good radio. I've had, I, when, when it was my other one was running, it worked really good. I even went, I busted through pileups. Believe it or not, off my inverted V with this little guy. And um, this sucker ain't going no place. And I'm very stoked to get it. But anyways, uh, we'll say 73 for now. This is Operation FT450D, Unboxing Reveal. So, 73s. This is Adam's Ham Radio. Stay tuned.